Well, now is the time to make a change. Well, I am turning over my share of the special effects company to my kids. You got a left tail light out. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you a fixed ticket. Sex. It's very important to you, isn't it? Oh, oh fuck. Not you again. you right now. I can't. No. Is everything all right? Uh, Alec, this is my brother Nicholas. He was just passing through. Hey, <laughs> she's always so formal. Nicodem, she wasn't expecting me. Last minute trip to this region. Would you join us? Please? No. Give us a minute, Nicholas, please. It's company business. Yes. Alec? Of course. Come here. What's going on with you? And I don't want to know. Hey, you offered me a future. This is not the where or the when. The fuck with me right now. You get your card and you dance. Gonna ask me how this happened? No. You need stitches. Just patch me up, it'll have to do for now. You'll need to stay in bed for a few days. Yeah, all right. What time does John come tomorrow? I pick him up at two in the afternoon. I'm gonna pick him up. We have to advance the schedule. Like this? You're in no condition to go to through. To what, Magda? To kill your husband? You just let me worry about that, all right? You do your part, and I'll do mine. Okay. In fact, we should go over your part one more time. We were robbed two years ago. I reported that one of the items missing was the only gun we owned. No serial number, it's untraceable. They'll suspect that whoever stole it may have kidnapped John. Where's Mike? She's at the cabin. All she told me was to take you over there right when I picked you up. Look, I can't go to the cabin. I, I gotta go back to the office. She thought you'd say that. That's why she had me pick you up. <laughs> and I can be very persuasive, John. You know, I bet she's got some birthday surprise for me up at the cabin. I will contact the police and tell them I just received a call from someone who claims to have kidnapped John. I will tell the police that the kidnappers gave instructions only once and said they would not call back. This keeps it simple and clean with no ransom note or follow-up calls from the kidnappers for the FBI to trace or negotiate with. I'll tell the police I must deliver $5 million to a certain location within 24 hours. I told you I could be very persuasive. Or they will kill John. Let's get out of the car. What the hell is this? Get out! Walk around. You can have anything, the money, whatever. Behind the cabin is a dried up well that John has never gotten around to filling in or boarding up. It goes 85 feet straight down. A deep grave for a shallow man. What the hell this is about? Oh, it isn't worth me dying for. Walk to the well!
the FBI will be curious about why the bank had so much money on hand and why I could access it so quickly. John had been putting funds together for several months to purchase a new line of engines. Joshua will explain it's not unusual where cash is part of a business deal. All of this can be verified with the bank. The FBI will insist that an agent drop the money off and that a GPS transponder will be placed in the case with the money. I will explain the kidnappers insisted I bring the money myself. The FBI will agree as long as they are tracking me every step of the way. You just have to have faith. We've got track. Audio is five by five. We've got a visual. Package being delivered. They will follow me every step of the way. The best trick is the one you don't see coming. Package delivered. We've got good tone. Subject departing. 